Hello, welcome back to Revised You, the learning platform where you can access a lot of learning materials through online as well as offline. So, children, we are we were discussing about the basis of classification among animals, right? Yeah. So, in the last session, we have discussed how we can classify animals based on the modes of excretion, right? So there is a monotelism, ureotelism, uricotelism, where a monotelism in this mode of excretion the waste product is ammonia yeah and in ureotelism the waste product is urea and in uricotelism the waste product is uric acid based on this we can classify animals so today we are going to classify animals based on the nature of blood okay all of the animals are not having the same nature or same type of blood blood right so some are called blooded animals and some are warm blooded animals okay let's see what are these terms indicate so as we have told already based on the nature of blood animals are classified into two right the first category is known as warm blooded animals okay and the second category is known as cold blooded animals right and now this warm blooded animals is otherwise known as homothermal animals or endothermic animals clear this warm blooded animals is also known as homothermal animals or endothermic endo okay endothermic animals now this cold blooded animals is also known as poikilothermic animals poikilothermic animals or ectothermic animals okay now here is two more category in cold blooded animals see these cold blooded animals are having this adaptation through hibernation or aestivation okay this is known as winter sleep and this is known as summer sleep right so cold blooded animals do perform hibernation or aestivation clear i repeat based on the nature of blood animals are of two categories warm blooded animals or cold blooded animals and warm blooded animals are also known as homothermal animals or endothermic animals right and cold blooded animals are also known as poikilothermal animals or ectothermic animals clear and this cold blooded animals are performing the two phenomena which are hibernation and aestivation clear now we will look one by one each of this type okay. so in this slide we are going to discuss what are warm blooded animals okay now let me see see these are the examples for warm blooded animals so us which means humans are included in which category yes humans are warm blooded animals and we are included in this mammals right we are mammals so i will explain to you warm blooded animals are having body temperature which is constant so in this body temperature is body temperature is constant which means it does not it does not change with does not change with the change in atmospheric temperature okay does not change with the change in atmospheric atmospheric temperature that is the speciality here so what are warm blooded animals or endothermal or homothermal animals their body temperature is constant there is no change when there is a change in atmospheric temperature okay so it does not change with the change in atmospheric temperature they are known as warm blooded animals right and the examples are yeah 
birds and mammals now you have got a lot of examples right under this category there is a lot of animals are falling okay now i hope warm blooded animals are clear for you and why they are called so is clear for you right now we will look what are cold blooded animals okay and they are also known as yeah endothermal animals or poikilothermal animals see here the body temperature is not constant body temperature is not constant it get changed according to according to can you see yes according to the change in atmospheric temperature okay change in atmospheric temperature clear so in cold blooded animals body temperature is not constant it get changed according to the change in atmospheric temperature okay for this change these animals are performing two types of sleep okay they are actually not sleep uh, i will tell you so cold blooded animals are performing two phenomena to adapt them to the environmental temperature clear they are performing these two types of phenomena because they want to get adapted to the environmental temperature okay now we'll see what is hibernation hibernation is uh, uh, also known as winter sleep sometimes you may get confused with this two terms so i will tell you a tip see in hibernation there is a r right and in winter there is a r so just remember like this hibernation there is a r and in winter there is also another r so hibernation is winter sleep and so it estivation is yeah summer sleep okay there has also got an r but in estivation there is no r so we can relate like this okay so what is hibernation we have told it is also called as winter sleep here this is not a sleep actually it is a reduced stage of life activities reduced stage of life activities which includes life activities means metabolism feeding and also excretion okay also excretion so all the major life activities get suspended during hibernation for what for energy stay saving during winter animals will undergo this hibernation to save energy or to get overcome that temperature change in the atmosphere clear and can you give me some examples for hibernation for animals for hibernation yeah as you can see here most of the fishes and some reptiles and also this amphibians undergo hibernation so examples are amphibians fishes and some reptiles clear yeah and for estivation see now we are going to discuss estivation estivation is also known as summer sleep okay here the animals can't tolerate the extreme hot conditions during summer so they hide themselves in where yeah they hide them themselves in shady areas okay they hide themselves in shady areas in order to avoid the hot summer 
season okay now the examples are the same as some amphibians and fishes see during summer season like, our water resources will not be full so at that time some fishes are undergoing this estivation which is known as summer sleep they go deep into the mud or they go they stay in shady areas in order to avoid the hot summer rays clear so we have discussed what are cold blooded or endothermal or porphyrothermal animals and they are performing hibernation and estivation in cold blooded animals are animals having animals having body temperature is not constant where it get changed according to the change in atmospheric temperature and the examples include these fishes reptiles and amphibians clear we have also discussed warm blooded animals here and examples are birds and mammals they are the animals with constant body temperature with temperature which does not change according to the environmental temperature so like this based on the nature of blood we can classify animals into warm blooded and cold blooded okay i hope it is clear for you thank you for watching be revised and stay safe